Well, the new trend is to go tiny. I love watching the shows on HGTV and all of the other kind of home improvement type networks about going tiny. And like, I'm kind of fascinated by the idea of living in like three or 400 square feet. And while we definitely don't live in that tiny of a home, I think that the concept and the idea behind it and all of the benefits kind of can still be found in a smaller than average home. So the average size of homes has just continued to creep up. In fact, I think I read some statistics not too long ago that the average size of a home in 2021 was somewhere around 2,500 square feet, give or take, which is a very large home to me. I've never lived in a home that size. So our house is 1,600 square feet. To some, I think that's probably big and to others that might be pretty small. And I think it's all relative based on where you live. But our 1,600 square feet fits our family perfectly. We don't have any wasted space and we use everything that we have in our home and we're diligent to take care of the things that we have and use the space that we have well. And really our home is kind of just perfect for us. And there is just so much more to be found in living in a home that's just a little bit smaller. Hi friends and welcome back to my channel. My name is Caitlin if you guys are new around here and this is the Simply Organized Home where we talk about all things simple living, decluttering, budgeting, and homemaking. If that is something that you guys look forward to and enjoy watching, please make sure to hit that subscribe button down below and don't forget to like this video so that I know to make more content just like this. Today we're going to talk about some of the benefits of living in a smaller home. If you're someone who's considering maybe upgrading your home or just buying a new home and you're kind of just starting to look in the market, I want to encourage you guys to not feel like you need to just kind of have that constant need to upgrade and have more and more and more. So I kind of want to talk about some of the benefits that our family has found living in a somewhat smaller home. I don't think our home is tiny by any means. It fits our family well. It's 1600 square feet and we use the space that we have well. And there really is so much more to be found when we have a little bit less space. So let's talk about some of the benefits that our family has found and maybe you guys will find those benefits as well. The first benefit is that we just have less stuff. We are forced to be mindful of the things that we own. We're forced to be careful and diligent about the things that we bring in. We don't have as much stuff in our homes because we just don't have the space for it. And so really having less stuff, there's a lot of benefits that come with less. I think our society kind of is on the other side of that. And like, it's kind of like the more, the newer, the bigger, the better. And that's not always the case. At least that's what I found. My next benefit is that the bills to take care of our home and to pay for our home are less. So our mortgage is less, our property taxes are less. And if you live in Illinois, you know property taxes are really high in Illinois. And so having a little bit of a smaller home, a little bit of a lower priced home has helped to keep our property taxes low, our home insurance is less, our electric and other utility bills are just less. And just caring for the home costs less because we don't have as much to care for. So to me, that's a huge benefit because it has allowed me to be a stay-at-home mom for a good portion of my life. It's allowed us to really be able to live on one income without really needing that second income to cover bills. And just having a smaller home is just more manageable. I think the next benefit is one that we can all agree is awesome. And the less home you have, the less you have to clean. So I have received so many comments on a few blog posts that I've written over the years. One being the two hour to a clean home blog post that also has a printable. And I just think it's hilarious to be honest with you because most people think it's absolutely crazy that I could clean my home in two hours. And I can, I can clean my home in two hours, top to bottom, dust, vacuum. And, and I don't think that that's unreasonable to say, but I received some really, you know, vivid comments on that post saying that they just, oh, they could never clean their home in that amount of time. Oh, they would, it takes them that long just to wash the sheets and on, on all the beds. And maybe if you have a lot of kids, maybe it might take you a little longer, but just because you have a lot of kids doesn't mean that you need a lot of space. I think um, 
there's a lot of people to kind of look at for that. It's just knowing that like we don't have to have a 5,000 square foot house just because we have five kids um, or more kids or whatever, however many kids. Uh, but I think that living in a smaller home has allowed me to be able to clean my house quickly. It doesn't take me all day to clean my house. I can, you know, one afternoon through the week, just take and, you know, dust and clean my bathrooms, mop my floors and vacuum and my house is clean. And it's not hard to manage because we've kept our house smaller. So another thing that kind of comes with less stuff, a smaller home, and um, just being more diligent is that we just have less to maintain. So we don't have, you know, a three or four car garage. We don't have, you know, all of the other things that come with a bigger home and more space. We don't have two or three living areas where we might have to replace multiple TVs or multiple um, furniture sets or whatever it is that you guys might have in a larger home we don't have that. So it's just easier to maintain the things that we have. And we're really forced to be diligent about the things that we do bring in and the things that do take up real estate in our home. So I can prioritize things really easily because I can say, okay, children's books are going to, you know, get a home in my home. If you guys watched my last video, you know that I have a thing for children's books and those are important to our family. So those are going to have a home here where things like home decor and toys and just kind of other things. I just, I don't, I don't keep that much. So I don't have to maintain that much. So maintaining a smaller home makes it more manageable and it just forces you to have less to maintain, which is again, going back to less money to spend and less to clean and less to buy and all of that. Another reason I love living in a smaller home is that I just don't have to declutter as much. And you might think, oh, that's crazy. Yes, you do. But really I don't because I am forced to be diligent with the space that I have. So I only keep the things that we really use and love. And yes, am I decluttering constantly? Of course I am. But I just keep a donation box and fill that as we come across things that we don't need. Instead of having to go through and do massive purges because I have a huge monstrous closet that can hold all kinds of clothes, which I don't, and I'm just more diligent with the space that I have. I'm, I'm very careful to not overfill things, but I just don't have the space there to store that much. So having to do massive purges just doesn't happen. And so there's a lot of less that comes with a smaller home, but there's also a little bit more. And I think that the most important more that our family has found is that we're able to build really strong relationships with our family. So my kids, we have one living space. My boys share a bedroom, so they're forced to be together a lot. And there's just really nowhere to run off to. And so we're forced to kind of interact with each other, even if we're just not having a good day, even if we're kind of a little angry with somebody, we are forced to interact with each other and resolve those issues quickly. And we're forced to just kind of build those loving relationships and spend time together as a family. We play games, we watch movies, we do all of those fun things and we do them all together in the same rooms because there's really only one main living space in our home and I like it that way. And I really truly believe that old saying that says, you know, love grows best in little houses. It's true. I have that sign on my wall and I love it. And every time I walk by it, I am reminded constantly of why I love the size of our home because it is smaller. It does have less space. We don't have as much storage, but we are forced to be together and we are forced to spend time together. And I love my kids and I want to spend time with my kids and I want my kids to want to spend time with me. And so being in a smaller home allows us to really build those relationships. Even though our home is small, we still actively host friends and family on a regular basis. And I love that. I love having people over to my house. And so don't feel like you can't have people over to your home because it's too small. People are not looking to come to this huge house. They aren't looking for their own specific seat at the table. They are looking for fellowship and really an open door is all that's needed. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I hope that you kind of 
can maybe relate to some of these benefits. If not, maybe you'll consider buying a smaller house the next time you need to get a home or, or move or um, you know rent a new house. Maybe you'll consider something a little bit smaller. And I think it's in a really good challenge for us to really see how little we can live with because our needs are so much less than what we think they are. Um, so many things we consider needs are really just wants in disguise. And so having a smaller home really forces us to look inside and see what those needs really are. So anyways, I hope that you guys have a really great day and I will see you guys in my next video.